Hey guys, what's going on? This is Barbara from Inspire Paper and Designs. And in this video, I am going to show you how to create a basic cover that you can use for Amazon KDP. Now, in my previous video, which I will link in the description, I showed you how to use the templates that I already created in order for you to make um, the interior pages. If you want um, the link to that, it will be below. But again, the pages are already um, lined, created, and ready for you to upload directly on an Amazon KDP in order to save you time and effort. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a simple cover. I will go into more detail in, in, next, in, in the next few videos on how to do different types. But for this one, we're going to do something really simple. So as you can see, when you purchase my um, templates, I do have a link that will take you to Canva and have this already listed. This I downloaded straight from Canva. And this is basically the measurements for their cover. And as you can see, if I zoom in, you can see that it already gives me the spine. It tells me the measurements. Um, when, it, when you create your own cover for Amazon KDP, you have to do front and back. So we have all of that listed. So I've already set the... Um, I've already set it to the 17.475 by 11.25. So now what I'm going to do is instead of deleting this right away, I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, make it transparent. So it's still there because I need to see where the spine is. So that's why I have it like that. So next I'm going to go to, let's go to elements. And I think for this, I'm going to create a heart journal. So I'm just going to type in hearts and I do have a Canva Pro account. So anything, so if you have a free account, then of course um, you can download anything that's free. But if you see anything that says pro, you must have a pro account because the terms and licensing is different. And also with the pro, um, with the pro um, images, you wouldn't be able to use them with a free account. So um, I do have the pro, so I'm going to see now which ones I'm going to use. So instead of all, I'm going to go ahead and use graphics. OK, now I see some graphics and then see how for graphics is even showing the ones that's animated. If you go right here and just click on static and then apply filters, it'll only show you the ones that's not animated. And I think I want to I like this one. So we're going to go ahead and use that one and I'm going to change it to um, red for right now. OK. So we'll leave that one at red and I'm going to go back. I want to see if there's any other ones that I might want to use. Graphics. Static. I might just stick with that just for purposes of the video. But as you can see, they have all types of hearts available. Oh, better yet. Let's use that one because it's already made for us. So this one. Um, if, as you can see this graphic, you cannot change the color as opposed to this one right here where you can, and you can see up here whether or not you can change the color, but that's fine because oh, I like these over here too. But anyway, magic recommendations usually come up on some of this image, some of these images based on what you chose. So basically they're saying, if you like that, then you'll like this. So let's go here and I'm gonna go all the way up to the top. And I'm already, I, this is already to the middle of the paper. And I mean, and um, the graphic basically Canva has uh, things in place like the purple lines and everything and grid lines and things that let you know where your images are in relation to the canvas. So I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And then you, like as I told you, I'm going to lock this. So by locking this in the background, it prevents it from moving. So I'm going to go up here and lock. So as you can see, I can't move it, but I can still move these other images, which I'll show you in a second. I'm going to highlight and group. And as you can see, I can move this around and it doesn't affect the um, background template. Duplicate that. And duplicate that. And I think I have to stretch it out a bit. Let me see. I think I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight all three and I'm just going to stretch it out a bit so it goes down to the bottom, which means I may have to move it over a little bit. So let's see. There we go. 
let me see because i don't want the white line i actually want it to kind of be oh maybe actually if i do it like that then that's not bad so what i and then all i'm gonna do is duplicate that and put it over here and there we go and it's centered as you can see and what i like to do with my notebooks lately i've kind of fallen in love with having um the spine wrap around like it, it gives it like the composition effect so i'm gonna go to lines and shapes and i'm gonna choose this rectangle and i'm gonna go ahead and since i can still see um my canva i mean my amazon kdp and i see it goes right there i'm just gonna make sure that goes a little bit past there so we'll make it an inch as you can see, it was an inch wide. Let me show you again. See where it says W1.9, we're gonna make it an inch. And then we'll just put it in the center. I like to have it a little bit past. And I'm going to, let me see, I wanna make this, I might make this pink, let me see. So let's see, I might make it the color I might make it pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on document colors, add a new color. I'm going to click on the pick a color. So I call it an eyedropper and I'm going to hover over to the pink. And we, I'm trying to move it too fast. Let's do that one. Okay, there we go. And then I'm thinking maybe for the background of the book, I'm thinking I might make that a different color. So what I'm going to do is position to the back and that'll bring the template forward, but I think I can delete the template. So let's unlock it and delete it for right now. And let's go ahead and get the back of the white. That's right here. I got that highlighted. Let's play around with some colors. So let's see if I make it pink and then maybe lighten it. Not too bad. I just don't want it to be like um, totally, totally white. So let's see. That's too dark. So we're going to make it a little light. So let's see what that looks like. So I think I'm going to keep it like that for now. Again, I'm just basically just showing you how to create a quick cover. And now that I have this created and I deleted the template, I'm going to go ahead and download this as a PDF because for Amazon KDP, the covers have to be PDF. So I'm going to do um, download PDF print and I'm going to go ahead and download the file. So again, I'm just showing you how to quickly and easily create a cover for Amazon KDP. I will definitely go into more details later on different types of covers you can create. One more thing you actually can do that I didn't think of. On this front cover, you can actually put like a composition label. So... What I've recently discovered, if you do book label, there's an already um, created composition book label if you um, have the Amazon Pro account. So what I want to do, oh, wait a minute, magic. Dang it, the magic um, recommendations came up. So let's try to get label, book label. And I chose this one. There we go. So let's go to see all to see what else they suggest. Nothing. Okay. So let's try composition book label. Okay. And again, for this, I'm just actually um, playing around with it. Composition book label. And I'll show you how you can create your own. I was just trying to see what um, Canva may have. Okay. I'm going to create my own. So to create your own, Go ahead to elements, go to lines and shapes. And I like it rounded. So I'm going to choose this rounded one. And I think this is the one that has, yep, the color. That's what I wanted. I wanted it to be um, the line one color and the inside a different color. Um, and we're going to make this a little thin on a thin side. And then I'm going to put it about here. So it's in the middle of this space right here, which you'll see why that's important in a second. Um, I'll put it right here because I kind of wanted to cover the yellow parts. So I'll make it a little bit bigger just because I want to cover those hearts. Okay, so I have this inside. Now I could keep this like this, 
or I could make the gold pink and make the pink white. So that way you can see the inside of it. And I think I might do that. And then I'm going to add words. So because this is going to be um, probably more geared towards children, even though, um, you know, adults may like it too. Let's go to text. And um, I'm going to just choose one just to put in there move it inside and I'm just going to say my notes and stuff. Okay. And we'll make it right here. Make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to see if I have more of a kid like font. So I'm going to go to Webner and I'm going to scroll through. Now, these uploaded fonts are ones that I have purchased from various websites. Again, you do want to be mindful of the crown because the crown shows that those are pro. Let me see if there's any more I can find. So these are the, again, you would have access to with the pro account. So let's see, kids regular. I like that. Okay, let's use that. Okay. And I'm going to use the spacing feature to make it um, come closer together. Uh, let's back it up a little bit. I like that. And then I'm going to drag it out so that it takes up the whole, um, that it takes up both other lines. And then I'm going to move this to the middle. And again, Canva grid lines help. And there we go. I might make this a little bit smaller. I actually like this, guys. Okay. So we have our blank lines. We have in the previous video, which I'll drop the link below. Now we have our cover. The third step that we're going to do is go ahead and upload it to Amazon KDP. So stay tuned for the next video. Until then, guys, have an amazing day.